Welcome to the Smart Investor Podcast with Portfolio Manager Beyond Dale, the show that takes the guesswork out of investing by bringing you actionable price analysis of the stock, ETF, Forex, and commodity markets. Here is your host, Beyond Dale. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Smart Investor Podcast, your source for higher profits with less risk. Now, yesterday we spoke about the possibility of a market decline and what we were talking about is that there were there were some headlines that we were reading where folks were saying that this rally is different that earnings doesn't matter and uh, my argument was that we have heard all of that before we have heard that line of reasoning before in 1999 to 2000 in 2008 and it all ended badly it ended in mark some very strong market declines and uh, what i i said i would do in this edition of the show is give you some exit points if you are holding some of these longer term positions in uh, widely held stocks so i have about 20 stocks and i will give you some exit um, where you should exit the market based on my market led approach and uh, the market led just to recap the market led approach what it does is that we don't pick the top and bottom of the market we allow the market to tell us when to get out and we trail the stop loss under the market and uh, we all know you being a smart investor that listens to the smart investor podcast knows that this market will not go up forever this the Dow will not go up forever and ever and ever without any major pullbacks. And um, and headlines that say that w this is a new paradigm and we could be entering something new. Every major market move, you have these ridiculous headlines. And, um, and our strategy essentially is to to ride the market up as long as it continues to give profits and then exit when the market stop going up and we see a reversal. So I'm going to go through the 20 stocks and these are 20 wild ahead stocks by investors and give you some popular, uh, popular uh, exit positions here. Okay. First one is Alphabet in Google. I would say that if Google declines below that nine hundred dollar level, it's currently trading at nine seventy one. If it closes at nine at nine hundred dollar level, I would be looking to exit that market. And uh, and and we see here where the market made new highs, touching are coming close to the $1,000 level. And uh, we have seen that the market is backing off slightly. And uh, I would be a seller anywhere below $900. Remember, market-led approach is to is essentially ride the market upwards and trail the stop loss on the, the market. If you want some more information about the market letter pros, go to smartinvestorcentral.com and get the free report. Okay, the next stock is Microsoft. And looking at the stock of Microsoft, I know this is a stock that a lot of folks do hold. Market made a a, a all-time high just shy of that $80 level. But if the market drops below $70, I will be looking to exit Microsoft. The next stock is Apple, A-P-L. Apple market, market have, has been a bit stagnant over the last couple of, of weeks. But if we see Apple falling below 145, I'll be looking to exit uh, Apple. The other wildly held stock is J&J. &J. And we see J&J &J reaching just below the $145 region. Again, this, this stock is making new highs. I uh, actually made some new highs this week at and that 
new high was printed was $144.35. If it drops below $132, i will be looking to exit that. Royal Dutch Shell. Royal Dutch Shell. Another wildly held stock. And uh, the symbol is not coming up on my coat machine the, the the beauty of live of live recording okay so we have i don't know why royal, royal the shell is not coming up but let's just move on to cisco cisco if cisco drops below 30 dollars i'll be looking to exit this market also wells fargo Wells Fargo Bank. If Wells Fargo drops below, uh, and Wells Fargo is not a stock I really do like very much, but if it Wells Fargo closes below forty-eight dollars, I'll be looking to exit Wells Fargo. It's currently at fifty-five dollars. Next stock is Pfizer. PFE Pfizer close to new highs uh, for the year. We had a high uh, 2016 high where the market hit the 37 39 level and the market currently is looking to challenge that area. Uh, this is not a stock I really do like, but if I was holding the stock, if it dropped below $34, I would be looking to exit. The next stock here is Verizon. VZ. Verizon here, you bring it up coat machine is slow this is not a stock i i like this is not a stock the market led approach uh really likes that much the rating is fairly negative but if you are into verizon if it drops below 42 dollars i'll be looking to exit verizon uh anywhere below 42 dollars now what we will do is is cut the stocks here and i will do the the other 10 tomorrow i know a lot of you like this type of analysis like these exit points i've gotten emails about them so i will do the the rest of the stocks tomorrow let me just take a look at what's happening in the markets as we speak i know the dow was down pretty pretty strongly actually the dow was down over 150 points today and what we have seen in the last hour or two is is a bounce in the market and uh, the the vix also spiked uh, pretty significantly uh, on the decline in the dow the dow was actually declining the least uh, uh earlier in the morning at at point point five one and the s p was down by as much as point seven six but has recovered uh, some of those uh, losses so the s p 500 now is just down 14 points 0.55 percent the dow is down 119 points 0.51 and the nasdaq is down 0.66 percent at 4362 Gold is up slightly, crude oil is down 0.59%, and the US dollar index is down also marginally. And with uh, we see with this, this selling here, the market is at a very lofty level. So you could see these swift sell-offs along with quick bounces here in the markets. And that is something that you should keep an eye out on. But just remember, always always if you listen to this podcast i keep uh, drilling it over and over always have an exit strategy for the positions you have because what we do not want to see is a market to decline uh, and 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 you are left with no exit strategy and you see that your portfolio is down 50 60 percent 
Last week was the anniversary of the 30th anniversary of Black uh, of 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 the 1987 stock crash, and in that crash, the market was on 22 percent in one day. Uh, no one saw it coming. It was unbelievable, uh, unexpected. Imagine being down 22 percent in one day, and at the end of the month, the market was down 44 percent. So as 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 smart investors we do not want that situation to occur so always have your exit strategy and that is why i am doing the stock list and with just some suggested exit prices if you are a long-term holder of those stocks remember if you want some more information on a market-led approach it's more a philosophy it is a way of investing you can go to smartinvestorcentral.com and download that free report. So tomorrow we'll pick up with the other with the remaining stocks, give you some exit points on the remaining stocks. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you have a wonderful day.